Okay, so I want to do a little tutorial. Cinch Share just came out with this amazing new batch feature. So what that means is instead of scheduling um, each individual posts in your events, now you can just click on a party you've already done and schedule all of those posts at one time. This is amazing if you run the same party over and over again. Um, and so let me show you how to do that. So if you log in, um, and you come to your uh, like previous post page, which is this little icon here, uh, manage posts is what it's called actually. You can see all of these posts that I've had going out in different parties. Um, so I want to simplify this and just look at one party, like maybe one of the last parties I just did, which um, was an event and it was this one. So I'll look at that one. It's my, my last party that, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to look at that one because that one's ongoing, so the things haven't posted yet. <laughs> so let me look at one that's completely finished. Uh, this one is. So these are all the posts that I posted in this party. And the cool thing is, is that it keeps the dates and the times that you posted them, and it will keep the same interval. So if you open a party and you want to go ahead and schedule the whole party for that next, you know, five days, that's about how long my parties usually stay open, uh, four or five days. Um, then you can go ahead and just hit batch post when we get done and it will keep the exact same intervals that you had in your last party. So it'll post at those same um, times. So it's really pretty cool. So since I have all these posts, I'm going to go ahead and, and check the ones that I want. And in this case, I want all of these posts. And after I do that, all right, I'm going to come over here to the right side of the screen and hit this little, uh, these little three lines and you can click batch post. Now, it's going to ask you where you want those to post to. I want it to post to this party right here. And this party is going to start today on the 14th and her actual party night is on the 18th. So you can see that is four days out. So I should be able to keep my same intervals, but you get a chance to kind of fine tune it in just a minute. So I'm going to say keep interval because I kind of want to keep my same intervals that I had. If I were like late opening this party or maybe a hostess wanted a whole week party instead of just four or five days, I would say new interval and I, it would let me um, tweak these. So let me let me do that just to show you. So I'm going to say new interval um, and I could say maybe I wanted my posts, maybe I only had two days for this party. So I want them to post like every two hours. So I could say uh, two hours... And then you would see when I hit apply interval, it would show you what times these are all going to post and they would be two hours apart. And then you can adjust them as needed. I am not going to hit apply because I want to keep my intervals and I don't want all that to get messed up right now. So I want to keep my interval um, and it'll tell you what, uh, what time zone you're in and everything. So um, I want it to start right now, which it's, uh, this will be good because it's about 1147 right now. So I'm going to apply this interval. And you can see in 11 minutes, it's going to post this one. And uh, tomorrow morning, it'll post this one. And then it'll keep going on until party night. So let me make sure. You see how I can fine tune things? Um, let me make sure that on party night, I'm actually, party day, it's actually posting what I want it to. So you see this is the one that says we're partying tonight. And that should be on the 18th early in the morning. And you see it's on the 16th at night. So I definitely want to change that. I want it, our party is on the 18th, um, and this is a little. Uh, it's not glitchy, but it's you have to get used to it. Do you see how I changed that to the 18th and it automatically shot it down here at the bottom? So it's a little annoying that I have to go find it again. But it's a new feature, so I'm sure they'll fix that uh, in the future. So I'm going to do that at 8 a.m. on the 18th. Um, so then all of my party posts need to be on the 18th. So. This one I usually do on the 18th. It says one hour until our party. Um, and so I'll post that at 8 o'clock because my parties usually start at 9. Oh, you see how it jumped to the bottom again on me? Um, so I'll post that at 8 o'clock p.m. So you see how you can do this, right? I'm going to go ahead and not fix everything that is wrong just so I can show you how um, literally once you get this all fixed to the times you want, you hit batch post. Oh, there's a problem, and I'll tell you what the problem is. Because I have it set to start at 11.48, and it's already 11.49 since I've been doing this. So I'm going to set it a few minutes up, and I'm going to hit schedule. Oh, 
Is it going to tell me what? My, oh, here's my problem. Oh, I didn't. I didn't schedule it up right here. Okay. Now I'm going to schedule. Oh. <laughs> it still doesn't like. Uh, the schedule date has already passed. Let me schedule it even farther in advance. All right. Okay, now this is what it's supposed to do. Um, and if you go look at your scheduled posts and you want to filter it by that party, I just did, you can see that they're all scheduled. And then in this, this looks very familiar. So you can click on it. Um, like some of these, I actually have their names in it. The hostess's name. So I would want to click on those and make sure... Um, I go to edit and I change it to uh, the right date or time or the hostess's name and that kind of thing. So don't forget to go back and change names. That's super embarrassing when you post the wrong hostess name in your parties. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. Um, so uh, please excuse my horse voice. I just got back from JamCon. There was a little bit of talking and yelling and networking going on. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully this will help you use this new batch feature easily.